Hello, dear viewers. Thank you for joining me for your daily tarot reading. I always ask you to pick the stone that draws you, the one that resonates, the one you have a hunch you should pick, and we'll begin. We'll ask Source to light up your intuition so that you can hear what you're supposed to hear today. And we'll do a golden nugget card at the end for further clarification. For those of you who chose this green stone, we have the victory card, the six of wands. We have the hermit as your major arcana. We have the page of cups. So the hermit is saying, you are guided. You are guided. It's a good time to kind of check in with your internal knowing. It's maybe a good time to meditate if you do that. It's a good time to separate yourself from the world for a bit. And you may have somebody guiding you. You may have a guide that is sort of speaking to your subconscious, that's speaking to your intuition. The Page of Cups is, oh gosh, I don't know. It's some carefree energy. It's some it's sometimes a good message, a little bit of good news. It can be a person in your life, but it is a happy card. And the Six of Wands, of course, is victory. So that is excellent. I mean, this is excellent reading. I think you're encouraged to be happy. You know, sometimes with that hermit, sometimes we can center ourselves in spirit and we can um, really, really trust the, the care and the love that supports us and trust that things will be all right. And then we can get in touch with our victorious self, our self that, that can recognize the victories that we have and our more carefree self. So you might be getting little messages like that, that fish whispering in your ear about how to look at your life, how to look at things today, how to look at yourself today. There may be just many, many blessings, many victories, many things you've done well, and many things you can trust Source to let guide you right on so you can relax and have some fun. So I like this reading. That's a nice one. For those of you who chose the blue stone, the blue sparkly stone, that's gold stone, I guess, we have the Knight of Coins, we have the Three of Swords, we have the Queen of Swords. All right. Now this is, these are minor arcanas, so probably not a huge thing. This is about today, probably. The Queen of Swords, you know, she's so smart. And she follows her plan. And she just really does what's logical, which is really sometimes kind of nice. Because this Three of Swords, I don't know if it's that there's a situation that brings you some recurring kind of heartbreak or unpleasant kinds of thoughts, emotionally unpleasant kinds of thoughts. But, you know, the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Coins suggest to me that the answer to that today is following your plan, being logical, doing what you do on a day-to-day on a -day basis to improve your security. Maybe you do get a little lost in work today, not working frenetically, not working um, just to avoid, but sometimes just your daily kinds of things that you do to improve your financial security, improve your health, whichever, but just the daily kinds of things that you do. Because that Queen of Swords, you know what? She can get a much more logical perspective. Sometimes you have to get out of the emotion of a thing. Because sometimes that emotion is really caused by the way we're thinking, how we're thinking about something. Or maybe there has been something sad, or there is something that is difficult, or or a bit heartbreaking that kind of tends to resurface. But, but, you also have an intelligent and mature logic and you are able to function and improve your security 
And sometimes that's that's what we need to focus on, the present moment. Not um, thinking of things that have happened in the past, but the present moment. And we can feel much more empowered and much more um, Oh, protected, I think, too, by our own logic. Okay, for those of you who chose the red stone, we have the Justice card. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Seven of Coins. So the Justice card is about fairness. It's about balance. It's about the sort of truth there, the the, the person holds. There may be something you may have on your mind, um, something that's not fair about your work. You know, that man is preoccupied. He's at work, the harvest is rich, but yet he is preoccupied. He There's some dissatisfaction there, isn't there? Maybe worrying if it's enough, but if there's some dissatisfaction there. So today may be a day that if you have any kind of dissatisfaction with your finances, with your work, with um, your whatever you're doing to improve your physical security, there may be an opportunity coming in with this Ace of Wands to reestablish more fairness in your life and more balance. So be, be aware of that. Sometimes the Ace of Wands, we can detect it by um, just feeling a little interested in something or feeling, or or maybe it's a day where you do take this, some dissatisfaction you have and you, you feel like looking around for an answer to it. You feel like looking into some things, some things, some ideas are interesting to you. And sometimes that's how justice can come in. You know, a lot of times we have dissatisfaction with something in our lives and we just kind of tolerate it, you know, but then the day will come around where we feel like, you know what, I think there might be something better for me. And that might be what's going on here. This is life giving though. I like that source helping you with a new um, goal, a new want to, a new interest, a new something, something you want to look into. All right, for further clarification, and this serves as our golden nugget today, we have the Nine of Wands. All right. So Source is really kind of saying there's awareness that you felt embattled lately, maybe, or you have some history that was rather traumatic, or it's just been a rough go, maybe, at some point. But... You're still standing. You're holding that rod. You do not need to feel guarded. You may feel inordinately guarded about the future because of um, recent events or things you've been through. But the nine is almost the 10, right? So we're, we're nearing completion of that. And this person has been successful at, each, at overcoming each challenge and is still standing ready for the next. So I just feel like whenever I see this card, I see success, I see competency, I see freedom coming in, but the person isn't aware of it yet. The person is instead rather guarded about the future. And maybe too much, maybe too much. Maybe Source wants to give you a pat on the back and a great big hug and say, you know, you've done well, and, and it will um, pay off. It will be lightning for you. It will lighten up for you. It's okay to trust. Maybe that's what Source is saying. All right. Well, I thank you all so very much. I hope you have a terrific day. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.